Hello, Scorpio. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of July 9th through the 16th, 2018. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Wild and Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on for the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Weekly love reading for July 9th through the 16th, 2018. Scorpio, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Alright. Alright, so it seems like it's a bit stalking going on here. I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like one person is just like looking at text messages or like looking at Facebook. But I feel like the other person is like following somebody to work. To the gym, all that good stuff. Okay, so it seems like um, uh, in some of this situation, somebody might have moved out and started something new with somebody else. Um, wow, I feel like you might have been gone from this person for a long time, for at least a year. <laughs> Over six months to a year you've been gone. But I feel like you already started a new per, uh, new relationship. I feel like you check up on this person and see like, oh, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. But I feel like this person is right now in your street. Okay, it should have been. Okay, with me seeing this card, I feel like people keep telling you they keep seeing them also. All right. Sorry about the sniffling. Still a little sick, but I'm a lot better. All right, let's see, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, so it seems like you started a new beginning. But I feel like some of you guys are definitely being stalked or stalking. Mm. Okay, yeah, so somebody is stalking their ex big time. I mean, this is the same story. And this is definitely saying that it's the, it's the ex. But I feel like some of you guys are watching the new person. Or the new person that you're dating as a stalker. Okay, so I'm going to just key in on this one story I see and try to stay there, but it's a lot going on here. So, these cards, somebody's in a new relationship and I feel like somebody is hiding and hiding a lot of stuff when it comes to their ex. So, it's like maybe you asking this person questions about their ex and they're not telling you nothing. Okay, so they got the mysterious ex, but I feel like it's something may still be going on there. And I feel like that's why this person isn't telling you anything. Okay, or this could be you doing this to somebody else. But let's see what's going on with this ex. Give me one card for the ex for the Scorpio. What's going on with this ex? Mm. Okay, so this ex is just up to no good. Okay, but let's see. This saying whatever this situation with the ex that just wasn't meant to be okay it wasn't supposed to be like that and it's only gonna bring uh problems and drama okay all right so it seems like some of you guys may still work with your ex okay but i feel like people are trying to keep you away from this person <laughs> sorry but yeah, somebody's ex is watching them. But I feel like the new person is just like, I feel like the new person is definitely stalking. But I feel like, I don't feel like it's more stalking. I just feel like they nosy. Like, like nobody can, can do anything. But I feel like the person is nosy or you could be nosy because of all the stuff that's being hidden. Like why you won't talk about this person? Why you won't say this person's name? What's going on here? There is too many question marks. And I feel like that's why, <laughs> sorry, the stalking is going on. Too many question marks about this ex. All right. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Okay. So it seems like with this new person, this person can't, um, open up to you because of the secrets. I feel like this person do care about you. 
But they like so nosy. They want to know what's the ex. What's going on with the ex. So they can't trust you. So they can't open up to you. And it's just because you're trying to have just things about this ex. But I feel like this ex is definitely sneaking around. So these stories, they could be the same story. I mean, I can see some, you know, connection here. So, of course, um, burdens. Okay? This ex is definitely a burden for whatever this secret is. I don't know what's going on. But... It seems like this ex is dead. I mean, the, the new person is definitely trying to find out what's going on. Dang, it's like stalking all over the place. Well, I mean, I guess I'm, it's not. I feel like the ex may be stalking. So I'm getting the feeling like this ex is like really not a, a good person. Okay. Uh, I feel like this person is very controlling and demanding. And I feel like. I don't know. I feel like that's why you don't want to talk about this person because this person is not a good person. I feel like you don't want to scare the new person off, but it's going to scare them off because you don't want to talk about this person. Okay. Mm, I don't know. It's like a lose-lose situation here. All right. So it seems like some kind of secrets are getting ready to come out. Let's see what these secrets are. What is this secret card? What is this secret card for the Scorpio? All right, secrets on top of secrets. Let me move this over some. Ooh. Sorry. All right, so secrets, secrets. But it seems like secrets are coming out. But it, whatever these secrets were, you knew what was going on or you had a feeling. Okay. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. The new person knew what was going on or had a feeling what was going on about the person on the outside, about the ex. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it seems like the new person is getting ready to find out the reason why you left the old person. Okay, I feel like this person really had a thought of why, but I feel like they're getting ready to, to find this out. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, so it may have something to do with somebody not giving you something. Like, or you didn't give this person what they want, or you couldn't give this person what they want. But it got something to do with, um, I don't know, I just heard jail. So maybe you didn't bond this person out of jail or something. Or this person wouldn't help you out when it comes to jail or something. I don't know, I just keep hearing jail. Okay, or if somebody, they, they this person may have... Uh, locked you up or got locked up because of you or something that they did okay but y'all gonna have to tell me what's going on there because it's like somebody wants the secret to come out but i feel like somebody is like blocking energy so nobody won't know you know so i don't know what this person did but somebody's really trying to block that energy all right, but this ex was not a good person, and I, I guess I understand why you wouldn't want to talk about him, but it's still it's messing up the new situation. I don't know. I guess you don't feel like you like him that much, but it's definitely straining the new relationship. All right, Scorpio. What's going on for the Scorpio? July 7th through the 16th, 2018. Uh-oh. Okay, so... This is the work card again. So I don't know what's going on with you guys at work. Or is this just like some kind of group project? Mm. I feel like for a small few of you, I feel like you might have a relationship with, with more than one person. Okay, like it might have been three or four of y'all in a relationship together. And I'm feeling like you guys may have worked together too or possibly had a, a, a business. Okay, but like I said, that's only for a small few. All right, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Love reading. 
What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to keep that card out. Let's see what it is. So we got the Father of Wands here. So this makes me feel like somebody was locked up and they got out. Okay? But this also means like lack of passion. Um, somebody's closing their life off and closing their doors off to new people coming in, you know? Because of, and it's, it seems like it's because of this ex. All right, so we got the Daughter of Wands, which is like the Page of Wands. So it seems like somebody may have lost their job or may lose their job because of this person. Or they can't transition into a new lifestyle because of this person and their freedom. Getting free or, or getting out of somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like this person is very dominant and controlling on the outside this ex. It just like made my stomach hurt. Like, you know how you see something that you hate or you really don't like? So it's like you don't like what's going on. You're trying to start something new, but this person, and this person got some serious control. All right. I don't know if I cut the cards. I did cut the cards. I remember. All right. So. Ten of Pentacles. This makes me feel like there's a lot of money. Money, money, money. Materialistic things. Material things coming in. Okay. Could be some celebrations or some kind of happiness in the home. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So, we got the Nine of Wands first. So, it seems like uh, somebody is not working hard for emotional things anymore. Okay, but well we're going to say emotions or relationship. They just, like, focused on money is what it seems like. All right, so, okay. So, we got the just, I mean, judgment card here. So, this is like, mm, I feel like somebody might have took someone to court, and I feel like they might have won. I feel like somebody don't have to fight anymore. But I might, I feel like it could have something to do with this ex. Like, somebody took the extra court and now they're getting paid for something that they did or something all right let's see what is this ten of pentacles about one card for the ten of pentacles for the scorpio all right goodness okay so we got the sun of cups here so everybody know well a lot of people know that this is like some kind of false offer coming in Okay, so I feel like it could be a false love offer connected to money. And I'm, I'm sort of feeling like that's the way that this person controls a situation. Okay. All right, what is this nine of wands? Give me one card for this nine of wands reversed for the Scorpio. All right, yeah. Huh. Okay, so the father of wands again. That's like stopping some kind of movement. Stop... Stopping some kind of progress or, or or freedom. Okay, so it looks like somebody, this ex may have done something. And I feel like this person may have went to jail for some reason. I'm still feeling jail. I don't know why. But I feel like this person might have went to jail for some reason. You may have got some money from this person, but this person keeps sending false love offers. But somebody is shutting them down, okay? So, I feel like somebody doesn't have to fight anymore because this person may be locked up, okay? But I feel like this person could possibly get ready to get out, okay? But it seems like... You did get justice because this person is locked up. And I feel like maybe going to court could have made this um, secret come out. All right, what do we got here? Sorry. All right, so we got the Father of Cups here. And this makes me feel like uh, somebody... Hmm. Wow, okay, so I'm sort of feeling like somebody is fighting for some kind of loyalty. Or this person is trying to get you to be loyal, maybe on the inside or out, or when until they come out or something like that. 
But I feel like this person is like trapped or locked into something. And I feel like I'm getting the feeling that they're getting ready to get out. Okay. But I feel like this is one of the reasons why you can't move on in the relationship. Okay. Okay. We got the emperor here. So this makes me feel like. Somebody getting ready to could be starting a new be, a beginning or make some kind of structure, but I, it, it's linked to fighting for loyalty. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, y'all gonna have to tell me what that means. All right, what is this judgment card about? All right, we got one that fell out. All right, so we got the Ace of Cups here. And the Ace of Cups is basically like new beginnings, fulfillments, like overflow of emotion. So, look, it looked like somebody getting ready to get locked up here. And somebody's going to be happy about it. Somebody's going to get money. But it seems like this person still going to be fighting or has been fighting for your loyalty the whole time that they was in there. And I feel like this person is getting ready to get out. Okay. All right. And yeah, this home is not going to be happy anymore. Okay. I feel like this is definitely shaking up everything. Everything that you got on the outside. So we got the hermit here. So it seems like you might have been in some kind of depression. Or um, just you're sick of being alone. And I feel like that's why you started this. But I feel like. You still connected to this person who's locked up. Okay, this person could also. No, this person is locked up. So I know this makes the reading like more short, like a, a smaller people. But I'm just going to say what's, what's going on. I try to reach the, the strongest energies. And, and if this is it, this is it. You know, this person really needs some kind of help. Wow. Okay, so it seems like. Somebody is trying to get over some kind of betrayal. Okay. And I feel like whatever this betrayal is, is the reason this person got sent to jail in the first place. But I feel like this person is definitely going to go back. Definitely going to go back. Okay. So I don't, this is a lot going on here. But it's stalking all over the place. So I'm feeling like if this person is able to stalk you, this person must be in prison. Because I feel like that that's the only way you can um, email and, and look online and stuff. But also this person could have their friends watching you. Okay, but it seems like you are thinking about leaving this situation. Or this person, this new person getting ready to leave you because this, this ex. Okay, but... Let me know. That's all I have for you guys. And thanks for watching.